Right, I think we'll make a start. Um, we've got it recording, so it'll be going on YouTube afterwards as well. Um, so hello everyone. Um, today we're co-hosting a webinar, so I've got Callum here from TP Link as well. Um, my name's Nathan Garner. I'm the Director of Technical Services here at COP. And then I've got Callum. If you could introduce yourself there, Callum. Yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks, Nathan. Uh, hi, guys. I'm uh, Callum uh, Flora. I'm a distribution account manager at TP Link. Yeah. And today we're just going to give kind of an overview of what a MADA is and um, the network inside TP Link, and also a general overview of some of the new products that are coming out. And we cherry selected some of the best ones for some of our customers that we think will be of use to you guys and some quite nuanced products that will make it a lot easier on installs and for you guys to be able to make that like we all are more money at the end of the day and make things easier for everyone. All right, let's kick off. So just as an introduction for COP, um, I know that some of you will have been dealing with us for years. Some of you will be very new to COP. Um, so we were originally established in 1996. And since then, we've gone through a lot of expansion, a lot of changes business, um, originally being a Dower distributor and now over to Hike Vision uh, with a lot more newer product lines such as TP-Link, Ajax, Magos and Vimpex, um, all to kind of combined into the best product portfolio for our customers. So we can give more of a dedicated service to our clients and then in turn, those customers be able to give a better service to their end users as well. Obviously, we're an entirely service driven uh, business. We want to deliver the best service that there is in the industry. So we only deal with the best manufacturers that there is. Um, and obviously you can see some of the all the other brands that we do uh, now supply and stock as well uh, from COP. So what is a TP-Link Omada? Um, so TP-Link Omada is TP, uh, well, TP-Link's offering of switches, access points, routers, all managed um, through our Amada SDN and SDN standing for Software Defined Networking. So you see a nice image there with uh, some of our products there. And then if we hop onto the second side, so with with TP Link, you know, so with the with the Amada solution, it's it's focused for B two B installations, those where you're you know you're needing to you know install access points to to widen the Wi Fi range, uh, all managed through the platform, so you can manage the, your items on the go, uh, your APs, switches, gateways. Um, all through a, uh, a cloud portal, through your web browser, or through your or through your phone. Uh, so um, there's different types of controllers. You have your uh, so all of this is managed. So your switches, access points, and routers are all managed via uh, purchase or uh, of a controller. Uh, so uh, a controller can come in a few different forms. So you have your hardware controller, which is a small little box, as you can see it there. That's a little bit of a controller there. Costs about £50, nice, cheap and cheerful. And that can manage up to 100 APs. Uh, so And there's no license costs associated with that whatsoever. Um, so I recommend them for, you know, your small installs. You know, uh, I, I would if you're an installer, I'd have them in, in, the, in the back of the van, just have them ready to go, really, because uh, they're, they're, they're nice and easy all you do is plug them into your switch and and off you go uh we all to understand that you know some some you know clients you know, they want to reduce the amount of hardware they have on site uh so we do have a license based model and we do have a little update in regards to the license based model um which I'll, I'll touch on in a moment uh but that license uh is a paid for service so that equates to about one pound a month per device so 12 pounds per device per year uh so you know obviously again a big saving um, um in comparison to, to other brands um and that gets you uh, full cloud management okay now what's new uh so as nathan mentioned uh, we're going to touch on uh, a few of the key releases uh, over the past couple of months uh ideal hopefully ideal for for your types of customers um you know with tp link uh, we're, we're growing rapidly and, and we're releasing products all the time so we want to guide we want to keep you guys updated with uh, with everything that's uh, that's coming out and everything relevant to you coming out 
Uh, so the first thing on 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 the on the the new releases is our cloud essentials. So it's called Amada Essentials. So I talked about the the licenses, the license based controller. Um, this is a brand new, completely free of charge license. Okay. So uh, you know, go on the Amada portal when you portal and when you're setting up your site, you can pick either a Chromium license or the free version. So this license, it has a fewer features than the standard one, but it should be enough for your normal, like regular installs. Okay, so yeah, again, completely free of charge, no hidden costs. So what I'd recommend guys, you know, if you are buying access points, which is from, from COP, um, you know, get this, get this, just pop, pop them on the portal. It'll make your life so much easier with management, okay? Uh, so you can manage multi similar to the to, to the the standard Amada, well exactly the same as standard Amada. You can manage multiple sites um, all through the platform, uh, and we, uh, with the licenses, um, that the the advantage above the hardware control is something called zero touch revisioning. So zero touch revisioning is you can pop in the serial numbers into your portal um, without actually having to plug anything in. Okay, so before you go on site, you can pop the serial numbers in ready to go and then when you get on site you can just plug it in it's very simple very easy so just a little update on the controller options now um, so this is a nice table showing the uh, the different controllers uh, available to you uh, for when with your uh, Amada installations okay so we have the hardware controller hopefully you guys uh, if you are doing Amada you should be uh, familiar with uh, you have the OC200 the OC300 OC400 so those are hardware boxes you plug in direct into your switch or router um, and uh, don't require any sort of licenses. Um, then you have the software controller. So that again, is uh, that's a free uh, software you could download from the TP-Link website. Um, and all you have to do is download it onto an existing server or PC running 24 seven. Okay, and then we move on to the, the Amada cloud-based controller. So this is the license-based model I, I, I previously mentioned. So you have the, the standard version and then you have the cloud version. OK, so with the cloud version, you still get zero touch provisioning. You can do VLANs, you can do port management. You've got VPN, fast roaming. You can even do guest Wi-Fi, uh, simple password or voucher form authentication um, through Amada Essentials. So you can do m majority of the things, okay? And then you have the standard version. The standard version has more features such as PPSK, which is uh, specific for um, uh, residential environments, uh, additional security feature. Um, and um, you know, so the great thing is, so you can get Amada Essentials at the moment. I think it will be releasing in one next uh, uh, software updates. Uh, you can't uh, upgrade to the standard. I think it should be released in the next month or so, but we will let you know when that's released. So, I mean, so what I highly rec recommend, guys, if you aren't buying a controller, get Amada Essentials. And if you do need to upgrade, then you can always switch over to 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 the to the to the, to the cloud uh, to the standard cloud. Now, moving on to uh, some of the new hardware product releases. Uh, so we have, in the past few months, we've released a brand new PoE powered switch. Uh, so uh, this is gonna be ideal for CCTV installations. Uh, perhaps, you know, a switch is a bit out of range um, or, you know, you can't get a network cable uh, all the way up there. We have a PoE powered switch, okay? So how this works, it's, it's a PoE plus plus in with four PoE plus out um, so as you can see here you can use a poe plus plus injector or a poe plus plus switch which tp link we both offer through cop um, and that goes to your poe power switch uh, and then it can power an access point or ip a camera so it's got four poe ports out so uh, that's uh, that's ideal and it's all managed through the um the the amada uh, the cloud so either with a hardware controller or the or the the, the cloud license stuff which we discussed okay So recently, in the past month, uh, we've just released again, similar to the the outdoor switch, another uh, item in the 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 outdoor portfolio, a outdoor router. 
Okay, so this is 4G router. It's PoE++ powered, similar to the PoE uh, uh, switch. Uh, and then it also has two PoE ports out. So, you know, if you're in a, in a, in a tight spot, you know, you can't get a network cable, perhaps it's uh, in a, on, a, on a roof uh, to, and you need to get power, you need to get some network connectivity to some cameras pop this in uh we actually used one of these uh in, a, in an event a couple of uh, a couple of months ago and uh, it worked really well um so uh, yeah ideal and uh, you know i think uh, starlink is quite popular at the moment uh, and this is probably a, a bit more of a cost effective alternative costs around 160 pounds and this is what it looks like so 4g connection and then that can wirelessly connect to your cameras or uh, can connect uh, to uh, outdoor access point or 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 point to point okay and again this is all managed through through the through the platform so you can manage all of these items um, through your web browser or through the phone point to point bridges uh, so uh, perhaps you might be aware that tp link used to have the ferros range um, the Ferros range was was good. It, it suited the purpose, but the issue was it wasn't managed under the Amada platform. Uh, whereas now we've just released the EAP 211 bridge and the 215 bridge, and that is managed under Amada. Another thing about the bridge kits, uh, which is uh, uh, quite uh, quite unique compared to other brands, is their pre-configured out the box so they come in packs of twos and they are pre-configured so one of the the key complaints i get from customers is configuration of bridges is a nightmare well now they come out of the box pre-configured okay however if you do want to add additional uh, bridge uh, bridges to the um, uh, this the, this this bridge kit then you'd have to do configuration to to allow multi-point uh, bridge Now, uh, TP-Link have just released a Amada extender access point. Um, so this is going to work similar to your traditional range extender, uh, which you find in domestic environments. Um, so, um, however, this again, manager and Amada. So you probably can see a, a little trend here, guys. Uh, TP-Link, Amada is you know, con uh, consolidating everything under the platform. Uh, we want to make it easier for, you, for, for yourselves to, to manage uh, your, your, your devices all under one platform. Um, just so you know, when your customer asks, oh, there's a network issue, you're on one platform, or, or you can pre preemptively um, fix issues through through the platform um, through its uh, features of uh, um, you know um, notifications on if there's any issues. Um, so yep, so Amada Extender Access Point, so uh, perfect, you know, for if you again, if you're in a bit of a tight pinch, you can't get a cable um, uh, to to power an access point, then pop this in there it's ac powered um pop, uh, and then um and, and off you go the only issue with this guys i think the thing you've got to keep aware of you know with extender access point is is going to reduce the performance uh you know just because it's connecting wirelessly to the nearest access point uh you know so you can imagine it's it definitely i you know minimum is going to be a half drop off um so i would 100 percent recommend this uh, as a, like a last resort really if you know you right, we can't get a cable over there this is an option now as well. And here are the uh, the the options. So the Wi-Fi 6 version is releasing soon and the Wi-Fi 7 later in the year. Mounts. Uh, so we've released a few different mounting options. Uh, so as you uh, guys hopefully know, uh, mounts do come in the box when you order APs. Um, but uh, we've also um, created a few different um, uh, bespoke mounts. So we have uh, your uh, outdoor one um so uh, a pole mount so perfect for those points point we discussed or your cameras and also something that i believe would be quite popular for perhaps residential or uh, um, uh, hospitality environments or uh, office environments even um, is a mount so you can convert your wall plate access point to a desktop mounted ap Now, uh, TP-Link has released a brand new DSL router. Um, so obviously, um, uh, well, if you guys are aware, um, 
the DSL connection is due to go end of life in the next few years. However, we are still seeing a large demand for um, you know DSL connections because uh, the UK infrastructure is uh, is lacking behind the uh, um, um, behind the uh, the expiry date of, of DSL. Uh, so we've released this. So this is a, a, a router with a, both a DSL connection and a WAN connection. Uh, as well as two USB ports. So those USB ports can be used to pop in a, a 4G dongle. Okay. So we're seeing a lot of interest from, from this, especially in the UC market, unified communications market. And here are the options. So currently this one is out at the moment. Um, so uh, whereas we are about to release, uh, I think within the next month or so, actually next couple of months, a couple of extra models uh, with two SIM card slots, so dual SIM card slots uh, for, for additional failover support. Three in one control uh, to switch. So um, so we have a, uh, a switch which has uh, eight uh, PoE ports, uh, as well as uh, a controller and a router, all in one box. Okay, so all in one solution. So for a traditional network, uh, you would have a, a gateway or a router, uh, a switch, and then the controller. Um, whereas here, you know, it's all in one. OK, so this is a nice, easy solution. Uh, you know, I think this is perfect for you know, residential installs or small office. Uh, you know, all they need one little box and off you go. And then you can power your your APs, your cameras, whatever it needs to be. So all in one solution. Uh, and then an update to the switches. So um, TP-Link, you know, we've released. So we, as you guys know, we we offer a lot of different switches going from five ports up to 48. Well, uh, we've just released uh, some Amada managed switches, but on the smaller scale. So uh, we already have the five port and eight ports, but these are unmanaged switches. So they simply just plug and plays. So, however, now we've released the ES205 um, G, P, and G, and the ES210 G, N, P, and the, and the, and the MP up here, uh, and those all can be managed under Armada, okay? So you can have your small five port switches managed under the Armada platform, so um, additional uh, management uh, capabilities uh, for, for, for yourself and your customers. And just a reminder of some of the offers uh, that TP-Link has active. Uh, so TP Lake runs technical trainings uh, called OCNA. Uh, so these are held across the country. Um, uh, so I, in fact, went to one yesterday in Newbury. Uh, we have some in New Doncaster, Manchester. So if you pop on, type in TP Link Partner Program, get yourself signed up, and then you'll be able to see all the upcoming trainings. It's completely free of charge. It's uh, in-person training with um, with on hands um, uh, training so we give each person some products and then we show you how to set up a network how to configure a network how to set up vlans how to set up a guest portal um, that sort of thing and you get fed lunch which is which is always nice a free lunch i, I won't say no to that um, and then, guys, you know, following this uh, this this webinar, um, you know, obviously we've got a, a lot of new products. If you want to try out some of these products, uh, TP-Link in partnership with COP are offering up to 40% off on NFR kits. So reach out to your uh, COP account manager, and they can organise getting that discount sorted for you. So you can get up to two of each item from the Amada portfolio at 40 percent off so take advantage of this deal while you can um it's yeah you know great great discount there um and you know, available for all products on the armada portfolio any questions if not i'll uh we, we have a fun little quiz we've prepared for you guys hopefully you've been paying attention and uh some some vouchers up for grabs and thank you, Calm. I think, uh, oh, there's one, um, Gavin. Yeah, I'll send those across to you, Gavin. Um, I'll pull off everyone's emails and I'll send over the training links for TP link at the end of the webinar to everyone. Excellent.